Hi everyone, I'm back again with another unboxing video. Um, my Four Horsemen book series actually came on the same day as my Fairy Loot, so I'm unboxing both of these. Um, as you can tell from the box, apparently it has seen some things on the way home. I'm just glad it made it here safely. Um, and yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so we have the Four Horsemen Looks Exclusive Edition set, and this is, um, the information card. I won't say it's a spoiler card, it's not really a spoiler. Um, hand signed by author Laura Thalassa. Exclusive Dust Jacket by Warwick Art, which I love her, and actually getting another set soon with her art as well. Exclusive Reversible Dust Jacket by Work Art. Exclusive End Pages by Work So she did the full book. Exclusive End Pages, Exclusive Stenciled Edges, Exclusive Hardcover Stamp. And then we have Interior Artwork by Zeb. Okay, so let's get into this. Um, I don't know which book comes first, so I'm just going to grab one. And uh, we will see what happens. All right, first up we have Pestilence. <coughs> um, I'm a little nervous just because um, I did also get the Bargainer series from them and I know there were a lot of issues with them. Um, I have also not read Four Horsemen just like I have not read the Bargainer series. So there may be a lot of issues with this as well. Um, but we shall see. I don't really know because I don't have I have never read the books before so oh this is interesting I didn't even notice the flowers in the back I know the reverse jacket is really pretty too so I'm already kind of on the fence about which side I want to display because I love this design I love the holographic shimmer I love the subtlety of the flowers okay here is the spine very gorgeous. Okay, there's a lot of text on the corners and on the edges. And so it was, and so it shall be, for the age of man is over and the age of the horseman has begun. Alright, and here are the edges. Ooh! Okay, first off, that is really nice. Um, wow, I love that ombre. Um, Okay, hmm, okay, a crown. Very nice. I love that fade. That's gorgeous. Okay, <laughs> these are the end papers. The hardcover foiling on the front, which has the same symbol as the cover, but as you can see, it's a slightly different and kind of more stretched out compared to the cover here. So very gorgeous. I love the like holographic shimmer that is on this gold foiling. Okay. And this is the reverse jacket. I'll show. Oops. Okay, let's see if I can get the whole thing in here. Okay. I believe I will keep it on the other side just because it actually has the title on it um which i'm glad i'm glad they didn't put the title on this just because this artwork is so stunning and it would have kind of ruined it um but at the very least um the original cover is also stunning so i have no complaints there um 
Now let me see if I can find the inner artwork. I will be right back. I'm already finding an issue with this book. I don't know who told them this was a good idea, but <laughs> the page is, the signature page is black and they had her sign in a dark color. So it is very difficult to see. Um, I don't know why they did that. If they were going to do that, they should have had her sign in white marker or something. Um, I'm not sure why they did that, but you know, I can control that. <laughs> <laughs> What's done is done. Okay, so after some searching, I uh, I don't know if there is more than one. I believe it is just this one piece. Um, I do not know if I can show it on camera. I will uh, do a um, self censor. Let's uh, let's just do this. <laughs> Okay, uh, so we can see the top portion. She's um, crowning him. And, um, yeah, okay, and that is as much as, uh, as we can show without getting in trouble, I believe. Um, <laughs> all right, now <laughs> on to the second book. Well, to be honest, I don't even know if it's the second book. I'm just grabbing a book and seeing what comes next. Um, so, um, yeah. Very nice artwork, I will say. Um, I thought that the one for KBB and A Touch of Darkness was spicy for artwork in a book. Um... No. <laughs> okay, this is Death, which is book four. Oh, I love how I'm just now seeing where it says book one on the bottom. All right, this is book four, so I will put this back down um, and cover that up, although I will say I love the color. Okay, so this must be book two. Okay, yes, book two, War. All right, so this one has a red Boiling, and again with the flowers very beautiful I love these designs I think I'm gonna leave it on this covers on these covers just because it is really gorgeous and war is a lot thicker than um pestilence is all right all creatures can experience pestilence famine and death but war true war that is a singularly human experience all right so again we have the um, umber fade with the black and red this time I love these and then we have the spines which are swords instead of crowns we have the end pages which might be a little difficult to see but very beautiful the hardcover foiling which again is an elongated version of the cover um, and the reversed jacket Okay. All right. Um, again, assigned page. It shows up a lot better on camera, thankfully. Um, but yes, I wonder why they chose that color. But um, <laughs> I wouldn't have. Wouldn't have been my first choice. All right, now the fun begins as I search for the art. All right, this one was much easier to find and 
I can actually show this one. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Very lovely. I will say so far that first one is my favorite though. <clears throat> um, but yes, this is very lovely. <laughs> um, I do believe it's just one um, artwork for each book. So that was War. I'm so sorry, I will try to get all this out of the way. It's just this was a very large box. <laughs> Very wide box. Um, okay. I will set that down here. Alright, now we can put book one, book two. Alright. Book three, what color are you going to be? Because I already know book four. Ooh. Okay. So famine is green. Kind of should have expected that. Don't know why I didn't. But then again, death surprised me with the color they chose since they chose red for war. Um, so here is Famine. Very lovely green. Book three. It also has that beautiful ombre fade. The stenciled edges, if I can actually get it better. There we go. With the scales. Okay. Here are the end papers. The hardcover foiling. Oh, forgot on the back it says this is not a war I started it's just the one I'm ending all right here is the reverse jacket okay we got on um, the sickle scales Ooh, okay I love I like the art for this one I mean I like the art for all of them to be honest but this is beautiful. All right. And now the hunt begins. All right. So, um, I should be able to show pestilence. Um, the bottom is very dark, so <laughs> it should be okay. I'm a little nervous. So just in case, I might just stop halfway. So here we go. And you can imagine what's happening on the bottom, even though it's very faded, <laughs> but just in case. <laughs> All right, so that was famine. And last but not least is death which no lie this cover though and this blue foiling wow i really love it i love it so much i love it more than i probably should but i love it i know everybody has their issues with book is box and i do as well but gosh i wish they would stop making such pretty editions <laughs> because it makes it so much harder to resist all right, and unlike the others, this does not have an ombre fade. It's just all black, it seems, which is slightly disappointing. I wish it would have had a blue fade like the others. Um, I don't know if that was unintentional or if it was intentional. I'm not sure, but now it kind of looks so different compared to the others since they all have their color their respective color and the fade and this is just pure black um oh this is the spine 
on the back it says even once humans are banished from the earth I will still remain so long as there is life I will always remain and um, <laughs> there is no period at the end of the quote like the other ones have so I'm wondering if maybe this book just had more defects compared to the other one. I mean, it's, it's, it's something really small, so it's fine. But this is already making me nervous. So, no period for the end quote. No ombre fade on the edges. Wow, the uh, end papers are super dark. even darker than the other ones and the other ones were pretty dark which this is again why is death making me so nervous and not in the good way all right so here is the cover pestilence was also signed i did not show up but it was signed um here is the reverse jacket Um, why couldn't they do this with all the books? So apparently they did sign this one in silver, which is beautifully and prominently displayed, as it should be. Um, I really wish it had been like that for all of them, but you know, maybe they realized partway through that the black on black wasn't going to work. But I wish they didn't wait until the last book to figure that out. <laughs> That's a little upsetting, but you know, I can't control that. All right, so now I'm going to try and find the art for this book. All right, so this one is not quite as prominently displayed as the first um, art from Pestilence, but I probably will not be able to show the bottom. <laughs> so I uh, will just show the top portion which is very very lovely um also don't know if the normal editions of the books have these but um all the books have had chapter headers um that go with their symbol and i do see that death comes with a deleted scene um which I do not know if that's just a hardcover thing or if it's a bookish box thing. Um, I will check very quickly to see whether or not the others did as well or if that was just for that one book. Okay, it seems like it's only Death that had that. Um, but yes, so that has been my unboxing of the Four Horsemen. I hope you enjoy. See you next time.